I'm exhausted. <laughs> ah, start over. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, baby. You know, I want the East Coast swag on these West Coast streets. And I know for Valentine's Day, we were supposed to have a review of Malcolm and Marie, but instead we decided to give it to the gentleman this time. Now, what that means is our production lead, Mr. Robinson, he is going to be coming on and he is going to be discussing a book that mirrors a game he created. Hope you guys enjoy and continue to watch, subscribe, and follow. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Robinson. I am the production leader for OTQ and today we're going to be talking about two stories that I have cre that I am creating um, that are going to be hopefully become video games. Um, the first story is The Foundation which is the prequel to the second uh, story slash video game The Soldado. Now the foundation is about a uh, young Italian immigrant that comes from the fictional city of Porticello, Italy with his brother um, and their names are the main protagonist of this book slash story is Giacomo James Saltino and his brother Vincenzo Vincent Saltino and they come over to the fictional city of Northfield, America. Now during this time uh, it would it's placed around 1914 to about 1935. Now during this time, around 1914, when they first come over from Italy, um, they are introduced to a gang called the Gradano Gang, which its nickname is called the Foundation. Now the reason why its nickname is called the Foundation is because they are the first criminal organization to become a mafia family in the fictional city of Northfield. And they are led by a vicious and ruthless man named Virgil Gordano Sr. Now there's a lot of different things that happen in this book. Um, you will see that uh, Giacomo becomes a street level man in this gang when the story first takes place. Now during, the, during this time period he has to do a lot of um, violent and risky things to make a name for himself in this uh, gang world. Um, and as you see, as the story progresses, you will see that he becomes a, a powerhouse within this gang. And it basically what it does is it uh, targets him and his family because he is such a powerful figure within this gang. Now when uh, Virgil Gordano decides to actually make this gang into a mafia family, he inducts um, Giacomo's uncle, Viterio uh, Vito Saltino, and Viterio's son, Luca Saltino. Now, these two characters are a major catalyst in this uh, game slash book. Um, I'm not going to get too much into it because I actually want you guys to <laughs> read and play this game and enjoy it like I enjoy writing it. Um, I want to get this out of the way. Nothing that you see or hear in this game has any reflection on what I believe in. What I believe in. Um, mostly, this is just a work of fiction. It's all basically a work of fiction, and I do it because I enjoy doing it. Um, so I just wanted to get that out of the way. So the foundation, like I said, takes place in the early 1900s, and you will see a lot of uh, development. Uh, character development during this time and you will see a lot of different characters. There's over uh, about 200 characters in this book. Um, you're not going to need to memorize all of the characters or anything like that but it's it's for an in-depth uh, book slash video game. Um, now during this during this time you will see the rise and fall of the Gordano family. The Gordano family comes into power around 1917 and their power ends around 1923. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna get into too many details. And with their rise and fall, you will see the rise of four other families. Uh, the Venzio family, the Rodano family, the Falco family, and the Tristani family. And they will all rise and fall because of certain key members of their organizations. Um, now that's all I'm going to talk about for the foundation for as of right now and I'm going to kind of get into the sequel the Soldado. Now the Soldado follows a basically a Soldado in the now um, built up Saltino family um, and 
as you read this book, you will see the the life situations that he has to go through for his family and what he does for his family. Um, now, there's some key terminologies that I want to get out of the way so you understand what I'm talking about. Um, so, um, like I said, uh, there is a position within the family called a Don. He is the head of a crime family, a boss, as you will. He makes all of the, the decisions for the crime family, and he has the ultimate say. Now, in my book slash video game, I took the liberty of uh, creating an underboss. Um, this is a real position within the real mafia, but for my book slash video game, it is for you have multiple underbosses, which is not really seen in the real world. So in, in my game, you have a top underboss, which is the top person who is slated to take over just in case the, anything happens to the Don prison, uh, death, or he gets hurt for whatever reason. And then you have, you can have anywhere from three to six different underbosses that have their own specific uh, sets of skills that do certain things. You can have one that um, basically just collects money for the, the crime family, or you can have one that gathers into, or you can have one that specifically deals in hits for uh, the family. Now under them, you I also created two positions called the Wartime Consigliere and the Peacetime Consigliere. Now the Wartime Consigliere is, as it sounds, he is the Consigliere that um, basically when war breaks out, he is the one that gets all the information for rival families, for uh, their businesses, uh, key members, anything that will break the, fam the other family's will. The Peacetime Consigliere is the Consigliere that focuses on making money for the family. He is the one that basically assigns the rackets to everybody and figures out a way to make legitimate and illegitimate money. Under him, you have uh, a capo regime or a capo. Um, sometimes in modern times, it's called a captain. And basically, he is the, the middle management of the family. He um, controls the day-to-day -day rackets. Um, he knows how much money is being put into the rackets, how much money is being spent at the rackets. Um, and he is the one that basically gives orders to the lower level members of the crime family. Um, now, I'm going to get into uh, what a soldado is, which is the next level. And the soldado is a made man. He is a junior member of a crime family. Um, in the real world, a Sadao would be the lowest ranking member in a crime family, but as I said, this is a work of fiction, so the Sadao is not the lowest ranking member, full fledged member of a crime family. He is um, basically the second lowest member, and he is being groomed to take over uh, as a capital regime at some point. Um, and then after that, you have the enforcers. And the enforcers are made men. They are the, the lowest level of full-fledged members. So, and they deal with um, going out, doing beatings, extortion, um, collecting money, anything that you can think that the capital would need them to do, that's what they, they're there for. And then you have associates who are um, not full-fledged members. They're trying to prove themselves to the family that they are willing and able to become made men. And then you have outsiders, which could be considered shopkeepers or people that are related to uh, mafia members or associates or anything like that. So those are the key terminologies that I just wanted to get into real quick so you understand what I'm talking about when I say it. So as I said, David Trapani is a soldado. He is one of the top soldados in the game. And basically, you will... Um, you will have a choice within this game to make decisions based upon the knowledge that you already have. And the knowledge that you have in this game will basically provide the ending for the game. So your con so the, the actions that you take do have consequences for the ending of the game. Um, it's not really seen in the first uh, game, the foundation, but it will be seen more in the Soldado. Um, now, there are certain territories that are within the Soldado that you um, probably should know about, which would be um, the fictional city of, city of Erie Land. Erie Land is a, a fictional city that I made up for uh, this particular story, the Soldado, um, and it has five districts within it. I'm not going to name the districts because you need to read the book, and you will be introduced to other uh, cities like... Uh, 
New Berkeley. You will also be invited back to Northfield. You will see um, Brack Backburn and um, Hollow Cliff is another one. And you will get a chance to go to actually go to Porticello, Italy, to do uh, work for the family out there. So I think that this game is going to be a very good game and it's going to be a very in-depth book. So I hope that you guys uh, read, like, and just tell me what you think when I get it out there. Thank you for your time.